You know, some people probably see it as like a, a disadvantage. I see it as like an advantage. I have nothing to lose. Coming from this, I have nothing to lose. You're not going to do anything worse to me than this place did. There's no chance with me. Nothing's going to stop me from making this happen. I'll do whatever I can, whatever I have to do, I'll do. We're in Hazard, Kentucky at Perry County Central High School, my old high school. Uh, just drove down from Mount Vernon, just got in town. I woke up this morning, my stomach had like a pit feeling in it. I was like, oh my God, it's uh, really happening. Us coming to Hazard? Yeah, I felt like I was competing. I like, had the pit feeling in my stomach, like I was about to step on the mat, yeah. The, uh, the whole ordeal is kind of surreal to me still. Hazard for people who haven't even heard of it. A very small, impoverished, drug-ridden place. Addiction runs rampant. There's not a lot of opportunity here. People do what they can to get by, like this right here. This is like a point-in-case example of what it is to just get by and, you know, survive. So I was raised on basically government income. It's like check the government gives foster parents or people who adopt kids. So I got one of those and then Memo got a check and every day on the first of the month, I got really excited because I always knew I was gonna get some like cool, good food. Like our dinner on the first of the month sometimes, she would just go to McDonald's and buy 25 cheeseburgers. And I would eat on those for like four days. What so, do you do the rest of the month then? Uh, food stamps. I don't know how we did it, even if they smelled like cigarette smoke, she always made sure I had clothes, always made sure I had food. Basically bought me any game I, I could really want. She spoiled me rotten. Spoiled me rotten. What's an average day like for you as a kid? What, what do you do around here? You're looking at it. Right here. Ride side by sides, ATVs, all up on the mountains. Shoot guns with my friends. Just uh, typical poor small town stuff. <laughs> This is my old basketball goal. When you would dribble the basketball on the gravel, the ball doesn't come straight back up. You bounce it here, the ball's over here. They came down and took the rim, but this, the stuff that's eating the basketball goal up, it's called kudzu vine. It basically crawls and eats everything it comes in contact with when it's growing. It's all over the mountainside. This is my trailer that I grew up in. This is the one. There's like tons of black mold. There's probably some asbestos in here I grew up with too. Yeah. This is it. So the way the living room was set up, there's a big, big TV here and there's a love seat here, mammoth chair here, and a couch right here. Until I was like 13, I slept on the love seat because my aunts lived here and they had both rooms, so I had to sleep on the love seat. Yeah. Uh, the dining room table is here, and I would sit right in front of the air conditioner like this and play cards with Mamaw. She would beat me almost every time. I would get really upset every time I lost. I'd be like, I ain't playing cards with you no more. I remember it being like such a big trailer and feeling like I had so much room. I remember seeing a set of stairs in the house for the first time and being like, dude, you got a whole nother house up there. And I remember like, I went up the stairs like three times and just came back down. I was like, whoa, this is crazy. Cause this is the only set of stairs I ever had. If 
We are in Atlanta, Georgia for the Nogi Pans. We're about to go get some fucking biscuits and gravy at Bojangles. I've actually never had Bojangles biscuits and gravy, so. Three orders, pure diesel fuel. They ain't ready. They ain't ready today. All right, biscuits fluffy. It's aesthetically pleasing. Let's see what we got going on. Let me get a little bit of sausage in there. Yep. Pretty good. It's just so approval. At purple, I just don't feel like anybody on the planet can really beat me. I think I'm gonna be able to double gold. Sure. This is like in what fucking realm? <laughs> I think we can win the Nogi Pans as a team if everybody shows up mentally. I feel like we're already solidified, but anybody that anybody that's doubting us, I think this weekend will prove something to them. What, what do you think you'd be doing if you never left the house? Drugs, a lot of drugs. In southeastern Kentucky, everyone and everyone's family is on some shit for real. So say there's like two parents, they have a kid, okay? The parents are gonna have some addiction problems, and then the kid sees some really bad stuff. Parents don't care, so the kid doesn't care about school. Kid graduated high school, he is just like, let me just get drunk and party with my friends all the time. Then, the addiction sets in, and they get so far down the rabbit hole that they just can't get out. And then, they meet a girl who has also had the same situation, like literally the same same get up from start to finish and then they have a baby and then it resets it just keeps going like that all the way around like some of the kids i went to high school with have already od'd and passed away some of them have died in drunk, drunk driving accidents like all kinds of different crazy stuff for such young people i never fucked with any of that i seen what it did i was raised around it i seen it every day i'm not about none of that so hopefully someday a kid from my area that sees this and is like, I can do that too. So we're at Perry County Central High School, my old high school. My plan is to like surprise my sister a little bit. She got put in like foster care, so like I haven't really got to see her, so. Oh my god. Come here. How you been? You alright? <laughs> I told him. You thought you was in trouble? Yeah. I didn't do nothing. <laughs> yeah, she's in high defense. <laughs> Jacob Couch used to be an old cadet of ours, plus wrestler for us, and he's a big time, what, jiu-jitsu? Jiu-jitsu, yeah. Uh, combative guy, what, nationally and world, or nationally? Uh, national? I will, yes, yeah. Yeah, nationally. You know, Jacob believes, you know, this is an important part of his life, graduating from this high school, and you're seeing a true success guy, okay? No, I appreciate it, thank you. <laughs> Love you. I said I love you. What did I tell you? I was really happy I was able to see her. She's got a good heart. She's just, she's just troubled. But I've always told her, like, any anytime you fuck up, just take it and go forward. Don't necessarily stay so fixated on how you fucked up. Figure out what you could do better. We got the same set of shoulders. Look, Jay, she's standing like this. We're identical. She's 14, we're the same size. She's a real smart kid too. 
real strong. So hopefully Major gets her into wrestling. In two years of training, I think she could win purple, brown belt, adult. She's that strong. That's ideal, obviously, for me. I'm a little biased, though. You didn't see this? Peep this out. Ooh, you got a little mic. What's up? What's going on? What's going on, man? Doing all right. I'm doing all right, man. How are you? I'm good. You know not. You love me. Hey, man, you've been killing it. Thanks, man. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We're proud of you. Keep it up. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. How is Couch as a student? Well, not bad. He's a, he was a he, he, he. He could be a handful like his little sister here. What do you know about you, Jesse? Oh. <laughs> Very little, uh, like, well, nothing. Have you heard of the Hillbilly Hammer? No. What is that? That's Jacob Cash. He's oh. known. Is that? He never, I don't think he ever let me know, know about that. That's my, uh, tagline. Jiu Jitsu is the real deal, right, Jacob? It's not wrestling. It's oh. not WWE. <laughs> no, I know, I know. Most of our kids, when they, they leave, they, they leave. Yeah, but, uh, he actually came back, gave back to the community. That's a good thing. It's fun to see a guy come back that's been successful, particularly when he wanted to come in the wrestling room and work with the kids. You know, it's just anytime a guy wants to help out with the community, what can you say? Any kid can do something positive with their life is, is, is a good thing, so I'm always proud of it. What advice would you give to these high school kids? Dedicate yourself to something you love as soon as you can because nothing else matters. Right after I graduated high school, I didn't really know what I wanted to do. I didn't really have any like direction from any of my family or anything like that. And then I got hit up one time to come train at Georgetown MMA by this dude named Adam Gomez. I remember going up there to stay and it was like the best time I'd ever had. My old coach Sandro, he talked to me, he was like, so you're poor, right? And I'm like, well, I mean, if you're putting it out in the fucking open, yeah, yeah, I'm, real, I'm, I'm pretty, pretty poor. He said, take a year away from school. See if you like it. If you don't like it, you can go back to school. He's like, you got a lot of potential. You need to do this. After I made the decision to do it, that was pretty much it for me. There was no looking back from there. And uh, I moved away. You know, stayed in Georgetown for a few years, and now I'm in Mount Vernon. And that's, that's pretty much how it segues. There's a dude calling me out on my <laughs> household income. That's how, how I got into jiu-jitsu full-time from a place like this. That's good. That's good. We're going to be over on four. Coming. Diamonds in my chain, yeah. That boy got that fancy shit. You know what I do. Coming out in that fancy shit, ain't it, man? <sighs> kill these motherfuckers, man. Just don't, just don't get it. His Meemaw just sold him them new threads. Just now. Just sold him for it's a down so tight. It's a swagger. You look good, you feel good, you feel good, you pee good. That's what it's about. That's why I got this fancy dancy haircut. Fucking ready. How much you weigh, bro? 206 with my headphones on. So you're pretty so. light. You got jiu-jitsu, baby, it don't matter. Listen, you're the man. I believe out. it now. It's over for him now. It's done. I've been telling everybody. It's done deal. They're going to have to write a paper about me. Put me in the newspaper. When it comes to like the black belts, I mean like right now, Atos pretty much like has that unlock. Almost at every weight, they've got somebody that's going to be on the podium. So you can almost plan on them meddling at all the black belts and kind of taking those down. Mm, let's do it. You're the man. Hey, you're the man. This is all you. We only have Wiltsy at Black Belt, so Blue Belt and Purple Belt are crucial for a, you know, a smaller team, for you to get points and be able to compete and be neck and neck with someone up on the board. You've got to make that happen. And they got to be gold. It's better when there's a little more you know, pressure and they know that they have to show out to win. So for people who never even heard the term, describe what a holler is. So a holler is technically, if you want to go straight by definition, it's technically a valley. It's just an area of land in between two mountainsides. I remember I picked up a dried dog turd one day on this road. I took it all the way home with me. I thought it was a rock. I put it in water and I was like, oh man, look at this rock floating. 
Anytime you see like a little slither start to go up and then everything kind of disappears, it's a holler. Okay. Are we the first film crew to visit Shucky Bean Holler? By, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What would happen if we went there without you? Without me, you'd probably get robbed. Is that like being from the hood or something, or is it like what? Yeah, it's just the white hillbilly hood. It's the hillbilly hood. That's the holler. That's the best way to describe it. You can't wear a backwards cap here, bro. I'm just kidding. It's the hillbilly hood. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Stop right here. Stop right here, so Mamo doesn't come out. It's the spot. We're about to surprise my mamma. I haven't told her I'm coming in yet. She messages me every day telling me how I'm her big man and that she wants to see me as soon as she can. I'm like, Mamma, I'm busy. You know this. We have this conversation every time. I'm nervous. I told you. I just had like a bunch of memories flood from being here, playing around in the yard and stuff. And now having like a few, few of my friends with cameras here uh, filming me is like, it's pretty crazy. I think she's home. I see she might be asleep. <laughs> you snuck in on me, didn't you? Yeah. <laughs> Got me nothing. They never nothing, big buck. I know. How you doing? I'm doing pretty good. You look good. Thank you. What do you You are awarded. Yeah, it's, called, it's, a, it's a mic, it's a uh, microphone. What are you doing? We're uh, filming. Uh huh. You mm -hmm. look good, Jacob. Come on in. Thank you. You guessed it. I ain't cleaned up enough this morning, but come on in anyway. And you put this out. Patented Eastern Kentucky system. You have your I, oxygen I, I, machine, I, 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 and then you have your cigarette smoke. Well, I quit smoking for a while. Yeah, I know you did. Yep, just like you did all those other times, though. For three months? Yeah, yeah. Three months, uh -huh. Before we got city water, there's actually a well in the middle of this that Mamma, for us to have water, she would walk from the trailer and she would dip the, the bucket in by all by herself because I was way too lazy of a kid to help her. She would dip it all by herself and bring this big old bucket back of water for us to, uh, for us to cook and eat with, like right under my feet. Deep down in there is where the well would be. And it, it uh, wasn't the prettiest looking thing, but it got the job done. So this is why it's called a holler. You see that house up there? I would come out here and I'd have Tristan and we'd talk for like, like, we would, like we're talking right now. We would talk this right here. And that's why it's called a holler because you holler at your boy. Yeah, this is a real cool place. I'm a country girl anyway. I know. How cool is it? They got a, they got a camera crew following me around. That's nuts, ain't it? He's a superstar. He sure is. He's always been a superstar in my eyes. He always has been. So Jacob was a good young Talk to him, okay. He's a good young growing up. He's got a temper, but he's a good young man. Always good hearted. He was really good hearted. Always had to have his way. Sometimes. Always had to have my way? Mm-hmm. But he that's never fair. gave me no trouble, no. And when he started in school, that's when I cried all week. Cause I wasn't used to being without him, was a baby. Uh -uh. And when he got in school, he got lazy. You can tell when Jacob got lazy, he just didn't want to do it. He'd get on his lazy spells, would not do his work. They, they got it, they got it, hey. What's it like not having him around anymore? Uh, not, it's not. Sometimes it's not good at all. But I know as long as I can message him and he can message me back, it's just like he is here. And I, I keep close watch on him on Facebook. And when I don't hear from him a couple of days, I get worried. And then I start messaging him. Are you all right? Are you sick? He'll say, no, my mom, I'm fine. And I'm all right. That's the way it is for me. <laughs> So you follow him on Facebook. Does that mean you know all about his jiu-jitsu career and yeah. the battles he's winning? Yeah. If he loses, and I said, well, don't worry about it. You'll pick it up next time. Because I know he can do it. Because he's a winner. He's always been a winner. He just gets on his lazy spells. But he's a winner. Sounds like you're lazy. Uh, uh, I don't uh, want to put too fine a point on it. Enough with the lazy. 
Now, my grandma, you say whatever you want. <laughs> he, he, he gets to say whatever he wants. Now, this is for <laughs> Do you know that they call him the Hillbilly Hammer? Yeah. That's my nickname. I know. Biscuits and gravy and you really hammer. You ever watched any of my matches, my yeah. competitions? Oh, yeah, yeah. And I always tell him, I said, bring me a foot home. <laughs> bring me a foot home? Messages me that every time before <laughs> yeah. a competition. She said, go ahead and bring me a foot home now. And I'm like, all right. Because most of his wins is about the, the foot, the lock on the foot. And every time he'd go for a match, I said, bring me a foot home. <laughs> the lock on the foot. Oh, my okay. God. Say it that way, too. Oh, I love it. That's, I'm going to start saying it that way. Lock on the foot. Lock on the foot. That's a foot on the lock right there. Lock on the foot. Do you think he can be the best? Oh, he is the best. What are you talking about? Do I think he can be the best? No, oh, he <laughs> already is. Best. He already is the best. <laughs> she got upset. <laughs> she said, what? Uh, you can't tell the best if he's going to be the best. He already is. <laughs> <laughs> I'm always nervous. I'm always nervous. I pee myself a little before every match. I've tried everything I can think of to stop it, and I just can't. There's like a little bit of pee every time. So I'm always nervous, but I'm also always confident. So it's like a... Couch is gonna rampage. I, I, I can't even see anyone in Couch's division beating him in the no -gi. I think he kills it. I honestly don't think anyone can stand in his way. I really feel like his game has developed so much. That's it. This is it, Couch. He's gotten so much better, it's stupid. And he's just starting to take off. He just tapped out Jared Dopp two weekends ago. Jared Dopp's got second in the ADCC twice, right? Jacob Couch is a fucking purple belt from Kentucky. So, like, he's going to be amazing. You know, like, we know how great he is. We train with him every day. You know, like, it's uh, hard to see anyone beating him. He's tough, man, mentally, physically, and he always shows up. He always does that belt shit. He's celebrating all crazy, but I think he's going to show up and show out. Couch had three matches in his division, all dubs, two submissions, one decisive victory. He kind of just ran through the competition there as, as expected, man. He's looking at incredibly good mindset. If it can go the same in the open division, come away with the gold, and I think we'll have a chance at the first place team trophy. Tina done the job on it, Jacob. I know. She tore that bag. Where is mom? What do you mean? Where's mom at, Memo? I reckon she's still in the rehab. Rehab on them. Hmm. There's a lot of work. See the wall? She tore up. How'd she do that? I don't know. I don't know. I guess fighting. Why well, wouldn't I wouldn't doubt that? Do you remember the story of how you adopted me? Mm -hmm. Do you want to tell them? No, your mommy left you. She left him with the babysitter. And she didn't come back and get him. And the babysitter called me. When I found out that the uh, that she'd had him for two days and didn't call nobody. Me and my late husband went after her. Then two weeks later, when she come back, wanted him back, I wouldn't give him to her. I took him, I wouldn't give him back. And we went to court and I said, now you can sign him over to me or I'll get you for desertion. Because I wasn't going to let him go back in her hands. I was right because I don't care to tell you, she'd been a bad mom. She'd been a bad mom to him. But she didn't want to become a mom until he was almost 17 years old. Didn't want my part of him until then. And by then, it's too late. Me and my husband raised him, and after he died, I raised him. And he raised me. <laughs> That's the way I look at it. He was good for me, not good for him. And then when he left me, that's what hurt. Because it seemed like a part of me just went with him. And that's the way it was. But it made me. Yeah. And I believe the Lord gave him Jacob to me was for a reason. Because we're still here, ain't we? Yeah. After he left, I thought to myself, 
I thought I was a parent, but I think most of my strength come from him. Where he was with me at, and I was taking care of him, but he was also taking care of me. And I didn't realize that after he left. Not just, it's mentally, just mentally, where he would be around that. And knowing he was around, done, done me a lot of good. So he, he was good for me too. So that's why I'm proud of Jake. I always have been. That's the first time I've ever heard her say anything like that. It, uh, it uh, means, a, <clears throat> means a lot to me to hear her say that. That I could, uh, that I could help my baby. That I could, uh, I could help her as much as she helped me. So it's pretty cool. Yeah, my baby, I'll tell you what, mate. I love you. I love you too, my son. People here don't understand that there's a world outside of here. Because that's what I thought growing up. I thought if I moved into a double wide, I was going to be like, I was capped at my potential as a human being. I just seen like a lot of stuff I probably shouldn't have. At an age I definitely shouldn't have. I like kind of realized this, this shit's not for me. And then when I graduated high school, I got the opportunity to move away from home. And I was like, oh, this is it. This is what I've been waiting for my whole life. What would you tell a kid who's trying to get out? What would be your advice to them? Be true to yourself. If you're going to do something, do it because you want to do it, not because you want to make somebody else happy. If I wanted to make somebody else happy, I would probably still be asleep in that back room right there because Mamo didn't want me to leave initially. I just understood that I had to do it for myself and nobody else, and that's the way I've always thought. On to the open division. He's ranked number one, he needs three wins to bring home double gold to be the 2020 Nogi Pans Purple Belt Open Champion. We got the two, Jacob. Come on, couch. Good, keep that, keep that. Good, good, good. Let's try to keep his arms in front, couch. We can get that smash. If you overlook here, you can triangle on that other side. Flower sweep. We can get all the way up to the flower sweep. He's got to move, Professor. He's got to move. Move. Good. I'm Make him post from here. Right Make side. him post. Make him move. Drag the arm across. Four minutes, Couch. Four minutes. Can you switch it over? High left elbow. Couch, he, he wants it. You know, he, he wants to win. He wants to succeed. Get them separated, Couch. Get him separated. Let's go. We've known he's been the best since he stepped foot on the mats with us. He's stalling. He's been stalling for three minutes. You gotta hit him for stalling. Yes. Jacob, you gotta sweep. You have to you gotta sweep. Go. You gotta go, man. Two minutes forty-five. Mentally is probably a catcher's strongest asset. You know, he's definitely always ready to go. He believes in himself and we believe in him, and you know that's just a killer calculation, you know what I mean? Good catch, push it, go, yes. Let's go. Hey. Yes. Yes! Yep! Yep! Yeah. Couch is unstoppable force, man. It's fucking unbelievable what he can do. Before his finals match, it's like he recharged and had more energy than before he even started the, like competing. It was it was unbelievable. So this is why I wanted you to have the mask on, because all this shit, all the insulation. This was my room though, this right here. Uh, you can see that there are like hornets and wasp nests and shit there now. You see how these are bowed? The roof was like that forever. This shit was falling out when I was growing up. JC wrote that. I love you, Jacob Couch. You are one of my favorite brothers. Love your little sister, JC Fox. This is a little quote I wrote on my door a long, long time ago. I started to feel real bad about myself, so I wrote this on the door. Seeing this now and then actually doing this now, because when I wrote it, I sure as hell wasn't doing it. I can guarantee you that. I was not working as hard as I could. I'm just now starting to really learn how to work hard and like how to really dedicate myself. So seeing this quote now, from the time I wrote it, uh, pays dividends. Huh. 
Yes, this is a letter. I just want you to know that I'm only trying to help you. I never want nothing to happen to you. I don't want to see your heart broke, your feelings hurt. It would break my heart to see you cry. That's why I try to teach you from the mistakes I've made in my life. Who wrote that? Uh, I assume my mom. My, you know, uh, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's pretty cool. Uh, cause, uh, with, uh, without the, without this place, I don't think I'd be where I'm at now. Uh, you know, some people probably see it as like a, a disadvantage. I see it as like an advantage. I see, I see this as all, all positives for me. I have nothing to lose. Coming from this, I have nothing to lose. You're not gonna do anything worse than me than this place did. I just see everything as a win. Everything is a win from here. I remember I would like just be out here like like I am right now and I'd be like, fuck dude, I'm I'm not doing anything. Like I'm so bored. Like what's going on? Is there anything out there I can do for fun? And now I'm doing this. So I, I think I think this place and these people just really uh made me who I am. Hey, listen, you have to be careful with him. He'll jump on your back. He's very fast. You gave up the two. That was extremely lazy. It almost yeah. cost your ass. I know. How do you feel? Amazing. You feel tired? Good? No. Scared? No. Good, let's be smart. Let's get to a strong position. Oh, shit. Just <laughs> bounce. Oh, 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 oh. Keep your right foot underneath. You can belly down on that. What's the back chase here? Good, you're gonna get an advantage. You got the advantage, Couch. Let's go, Couch. Turn it up, turn it up. That was ready, though. Good, let's get that chest down on that. Get that chest down. What's the inversion? Hey, let's be smart here, Couch. Let's go. Turn it up now. Dial it in. Keep walking it up. Keep walking your right leg up. Yes. Let's get the pressure, Couch. That's two minutes down, Couch. You look good, baby. Two minutes down. Same thing. No inversion. No inversion. Drag it across and up if you want. Just watch him sweep it. Be smart here. Let's go, drag. It, couch. Grab his trap. Reach for the trap. Reach for the trap. Come up. Good. Let's body lock pass here, Couch. Bear your Come hips. Up. Bear your hips. Yes. Chase the trap. Up to the shoulders. Up to the shoulders. Up to the shoulders, yes! Up to the shoulders, yes! Yes! Seat belt! Keep the pressure, it's there, it's there! Yeah. Hooks, hooks! Let's go! Let's run this shit now, let's run this! Let's go! Listen, do you see him over there laying on the ground? You remember what happened at the pans? This is it, payback. I'm gonna take it to his ass. Okay. We're starting up or down? No. Let's go. Hey, you're the man. At, uh, at pans, this is a rematch for Jacob Couch's division in the gi. He went with 2 2. Well, Flow Grappling had put up a video and kind of the guys kind of hijacked it, you know, started saying, hey, you know, he sucks. and calling him names, watermelon head, and all this shit. So Couch just said, hey, let's, we'll do a rematch, no gi, all subs for 2,500 bucks. And then of course nobody replied, so, you know, it's nice to get a, a revenge in a match, so I think Couch is gonna run the shit. If he sits immediately, you're just gonna put the, put the fucking gas on for seven minutes, nonstop. I'm gonna count it down for you every minute, every minute, every minute, let's do it. You're the man, hey, you're the man, this is all you. This is what you've been waiting for. You want to tell Jacob on camera? Now how much I love him, that's all. He knows that already, don't, don't you, my baby? Yeah, I love you too, Memo. And I'm proud of him, and I miss him. I know. All the time, don't I? I know. I tell do. him that all the time anyway, how much I miss him. Yeah, my baby, I'll tell you what, baby. I love you. I love you too, my son. All right, let's give him this fancy piece of equipment back. Oh.
Please come back and see me, will you? I will, you know. I love you. You know I love that. You too. Come here. Come on. I love you. I know you do. But you message me anyway, you will, okay? I'll, I'll for sure message you, 100%. I love you. I love you too. Every time I've competed, I find a spot along the barricade or in the stands, and I like put her there in my head. I put her there, and she's watching me. And I, I'm thinking about her the whole time. We all go out here and have to be somebody we're not because of somebody else. Jacob had never done that. Jacob's always been Jacob. He didn't let nobody else choose for him. This is what he wanted to do. And he got his mind into it, his heart into it, and his soul into it. And this is what he wanted to do. And that's why I love it. Turn it up, turn it up. Let's go. Let's go. Kick the left leg, that's it. Come up, 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 up. Hey, let's go. Here we go. Hey. Let's go, let's go. Hey, let's go, now. Let's go, baby. Here we go. Keep it to your chest, Hey.
been through a lot of shit in my life. My mom's been a drug addict my whole life. Uh, she was never there really growing up. What'd I tell you? Huh? And just recently, a few months ago, my little sister got put in foster care because my mom got caught, uh, you know, being an addict. My little sister's in foster care and she ran away and uh, I didn't know where she was for like for like four or five hours and uh, it's a real dangerous place where I'm from with stuff like that so I, I just broke down a little bit earlier this week and I was crying in my room. She's good now, she's safe and back but uh, that's uh, I put a load, I, I usually take stuff like that and I put it back here just because jiu-jitsu is my main focus and really happy I was able to uh, come out here and do something like that. Uh, it's a you good, bro. really, really important to make all these guys proud of me. We're all proud of you. Everyone's proud of you. Growing up I never really had a sense of family because of the addiction that we talked about earlier so being a, being a part of this team and being here is like, uh, it's really important to me um, just to be a part of something so special. <laughs> you did it, brother. This is good stuff, man. Proud of you. It's good. Hey, you did it. I did it. I told y'all. Yes. I told you what was going to happen. I told you. I knew that was going to happen. Every time on the way to the map, I didn't feel like anybody could beat me. top of the podium and accomplish dreams and set goals and accomplish those winning his division winning the open it's not surprising to see him so emotional afterwards you know what I mean you know it's like you know when you're in a position like that you want to be a winner because you want to get out you want to get out of where you're from and that's the only way that he was ever going to get out of that place was jiu-jitsu and he did it today you know what I mean he, he, he proved that that he belongs and always belonging he's the best he's up and coming and I think it's not going to be long before he's on top of the black belt podiums man with uh, the heel hooks coming at no gi at brown and black adult I just don't know if there's going to be anybody that can stop the guy man I think he's going to hit the ground running at brown and black both Every time I take in the moment, I look at everybody on the barricade, and that's just something that I really is really big for me is like appreciating the moment and all the people you're surrounded by and everything the moment means to everyone, not just you, everyone that is a part of it. I like being a winner too, my thanks, baby. I work my ass off every day to come from this. I'm extremely, extremely blessed. I'm not too religious. What I believe in is like myself. There's no chance with me. Nothing's gonna stop me from making this happen. I'll do whatever I can, whatever I have to do, I'll do. You know, that's what this is all for. Watching someone, you know, in a moment like that, that's everything, you know what I mean? That, that, that's the point of doing this every day to watch guys like Jacob become something and believe in themselves and then, you know, one day pay that forward to help somebody that was like them. You know, that's the whole point of all of it. Kids like me, they don't always take influence from the right direction. Hopefully, someday, a kid from my area sees this and is like, I can do that too. He's saying this right now because he's he's like endorphin overload, but he's gonna make fun of me for crying later. Oh, yeah. they're, oh they're gonna. He's definitely getting shit for sitting on the mat and praying or whatever. I wasn't praying, motherfucker. I ain't even religious. I was just crying. I went and took a piss and I seen that flow tag me that one super heavy, so that's pretty cool. Okay. So Andrew's got his orange chicken. Anything you're gonna do to celebrate? Uh, I might buy Tinder Plus. What Tinder Plus? You get unlimited swipes. You know what time the fuck it is. I got the roses and the suede, baby. Okay. That's what I do. Magic City! Look at the boss. Look at the boss man. Double gold, so he's gonna get. Never mind. <laughs> uh, it's a mural for all the guys to pray to before training. A combo. Some people don't pray to it and don't like it. Then Spatch is one of those people. You don't bow down to this one? Fuck no. <laughs> I was it's gonna a... take it out and burn it for firewood, it's so cold. It's, it's okay. 
is okay. He's, you know, he's foreign. He don't understand American customs yet. <laughs> Wait, explain Tinder Plus to, to us. What do, you, what do you get with that? So you get like, uh, you get like unlimited swipes. Uh, so you just swipe yes on all of them, and then you decide yep. after they answer back. Yep, every one of them. I ain't, I ain't got no good leads off of it yet, but I'm gonna work it on it. We got four stoves, 11 eyes burning at all times. <laughs> I didn't even know what that means, but I, I it, means it sounds cooking. good. We I think cook, we cook it, baby. We serving out biscuits, gravy, and ass whoopings. That's right. <laughs> Amen, brother. Amen. I lost my toothbrush. Where? How many days ago? Sorry. There you go. <laughs> I started using this one, I don't even know if this motherfucker is mine. I just, I should use it, and if anybody else uses it while I'm not here, it's, we're just dueling. Sigma Sound is a superstar. Oh. Yeah. He's a world champion in Zitsu, and he goes all over the states. Come here, man, Jake. <laughs> I'm coming. I want to introduce you. Your breath stinks. Your breath stinks. He thought you was in trouble for real? You ain't did nothing to be in no trouble lately? Yeah, they was talking about some kind of gang or something like that. <laughs> Are you part of a gang? No. <laughs> they was talking Are you about... gangbanging in Hazard? No. To be the best, you have to be crazy. My parents would tell us that dark wizards were trying to cast spells on us because they were light wizards and they were trying to heal the world and stuff. So it's my first IBGGF black belt tournament. I have to check that last one off. Now it's like the final frontier. 